James Hollingshead. James Hollingshead came on the scene almost out of nowhere and won, I think, two or three shows in Europe, qualified for the Olympia, didn't even make it to the Olympia the first year, and, uh, but also qualified for the following year already. And uh, very, very promising um, a bodybuilder in my eyes because he has somewhat, he reminds me a little bit, maybe that graininess that he can bring on the freaky muscle, kind of reminds me of a Dorian Yates, kind of. I'm not saying he reminds me of Dorian, but he kind, kind of reminds me of him. And, uh, you know, a lot of people had really, really, I mean, they had him on the radar for the Olympia last year. What do you think happened to James for him to, to you know, to come to step on stage at the Olympia and, and, and not being who he can or he is supposed to be? Oh, I know what happened. We, uh, we overdieted. Uh, yeah. I mean, that is, you know, I, I, I said it before, that is absolutely... Uh, 100% my fault. Um, we were at about, I think it was around the four week out mark. And um, the condition was already very, very good. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what, what we tried to achieve is that extreme look, you know, that really, really peeled out of your mind look. And it was absolutely not necessary. So once his body starting to go in overdrive, we pushed it too hard. Then it was we, we've really tried everything, so especially was, the so, last so week, was, ten days. It was probably too late to bring it back. It was impossible. When, if you know James's body, there is a point of no return, and to bring that back, that fullness density, back, it takes weeks, and sometimes uh -huh. I would say even a few months to to really have him, you know, carburate again and 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 have that homeostasis again. Uh -huh. So. He was eating so much food the last week before the Olympia as we tried to, you know, bump it up. But uh, it was just impossible. Yeah. You obviously get heavier, but you that look that you have, it doesn't belong to you. You know, that you, you still have that film of water, which you cannot get rid of. Otherwise, you know, you, you still be flat. So once you go beyond that point uh, of, of, of no return for him, it was it was impossible to bring it back. And that was... It was 100% my mistake. Yeah. So I wanted so, to see. Go ahead. So you wanted to see. I wanted to see that, you know, something that other guys I knew were bringing it to yeah. me, some, some crazy, crazy hardness. But losing that fullness, even even though he was super hard, then it, it just didn't didn't um, yeah. come out to be anything we expected. That was too late. So did you guys talk about it before? Say, listen, uh, we, you know, we, 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 we fucked up and, and this is not going to happen and you're just going to have to just ride this through? Or, or what, was, what, was, what was the, uh, the atmosphere like the last, um, the last no. seven days? Um, we, we talked a few times every day. I mean, uh, we knew we were a little bit light, but um, we were always hoping that with you know, bringing back food, um, it would change. The so look would change. Yeah. You, would but, hope, you, um, would, you would hope you really would still. Didn't. You hope you'd still come alive. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was. There was. It was a big, big learning experience. I mean, you have other athletes who, even though they are flat, they're pushing the condition. They they still keep a, a certain roundness, and you can still bring it back. Mm -hmm. James is very, very particular. Um, it, it's just uh, you know one one in a hundred. Mm. Um, the, once he passes that, he, his metabolism just goes so berserk and he loses everything that you actually built over the last six, seven months. Mm. And you just not don't bring it back. He's just now again, you know, starting to to really get you know, that fullness and density back. So yeah. it happens really fast and it takes a long time to bring it back. Yeah. It's very particular. So so you was were you sitting at home and watching the Olympia on, on, on the live stream? Yes. So, what was your what was your own personal reaction when you see your guys step on stage? What was the reaction when James stepped on stage? Uh, who it was. I, I mean, even now, I, I have a me. I have a good idea because I know what it feels like when you want someone to do so good, and then you know. Oh what, man, we, we, you know, people don't understand how much work went into that. You know how. Mm. You know, there, there was a year of every day, multiple times a day, every workout. And 
it's yeah there are so many feelings it's like i don't know it's like somebody died in your family you know it's like that type of feeling in your stomach mm. it's like you when you know you you can be more than what you're seeing on stage and then what i also feel is a sense of responsibility because i'm the one who makes the calls so i'm the one who at one point instead of saying you look we're good let's keep it here mm -hmm. I, i'm the one who said no i want more let's push it harder so i am the one to blame for that because i wanted to see some more but without expecting that response that you know and 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 if you were were we talking about eating not much we're talking about 250 grams of carbs a day that was like the lowest we ever went you know there are people who diet for weeks on that with the same body weight nothing happens and with james it's just totally different so mm. um i'm still i'm still kind of recovering from from that and and the sense of again like i told you the, the responsibility you know it, this is james's career he's making money off of this so it's not just you know we'll do it better next time it's like i know how much this guy has dedicated himself so everything that he has gone through i know what it feels like so it's 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 a very very tough thing to to, mm. to digest especially when you know you are the one who who made that call instead of you know pulling things back yeah but but looking at him now i mean he was still he's doing fantastic he looks crazy right now now he's just you know doing his thing um listening to his body finding his way back uh, just feeling well with training and everything yeah no he looks good and, and, yeah what's the goal for him this year i don't know I, i truly don't know um i think for him right now it's it's really finding pleasure you know getting over that that negative feeling Mm -hmm. that the Olympia created, uh, finding pleasure in, in, in training, finding comfortable with what he's doing. And then uh, I hope to see him uh, in some show in Europe at the end of the year, you know, like the Arnold Classic or something like that in Britain. But um, that's really something I haven't talked to him about yet. Because, okay. again, it's, it's, it's more of I want him to, to feel comfortable. You know, I'm not trying to fear too much. I'm wanting to to have fun, to have pleasure, to 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 really have that eye of the tiger again that he had the whole you mm. know, year before the Olympia. Gotcha. So uh, when when he's going to be comfortable within that setup, then then I think um, the best of James still is still out there. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm I have no doubt in my mind that uh, he if he puts it all together with the with the freakiness that he has, that he will do some damage. Absolutely.